Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This is the first FIFA 21 video that we're gonna have, and this starts the new year for us with the new version of FIFA Ultimate Team, going through the trades, going through the market, going through the building of your Ultimate Team from scratch to where we just ended after a team of the season, summer heat, and fantastic preseason promos that gave us a lot of sick cards, a lot of dope SBC content, and a lot of awesome stuff inside of FIFA Ultimate Team. We start it all again in about three weeks with FIFA 21. And again, what we're covering today is some stuff that EA dropped yesterday on their Twitter. We're going to be talking about the new FIFA 21 ratings. I haven't been actually putting out FIFA 21 content because a lot of the stuff that we're going to talk about depends on the cards that they're going to be putting in the game. So, we got some information on those cards today, so I'm here to talk with you about FIFA 21 and what we're going to be seeing in, in the next couple days, what we can learn from these ratings, and what that means for us going forward in terms of FIFA 21 preparation, getting our minds right for what kind of trading methods we're going to be looking at in the next couple of weeks with the web app dropping, with the EA access, how to best use your 10 hours, you know, ones to watch, investments, and all that sort of stuff in the next, you know, three to four week time frame. There's a lot of stuff going on. We're going to cover it all here. So stay tuned for that, of course, in the future. But again, this is what we're talking about today because EA Sports dropped this promo video today. They said Thursday, and they actually used the wrong date in their tweet. What's new? Starting off FIFA 21 on a great note, an error from EA Sports. But this is the kind of promo video that they dropped today showing Holland. Trent Alexander-Arnold and Joao Felix as the main three kind of cover stars on FIFA 21. We've, we've been seeing them a lot. But this is the interesting thing, right? They actually showed some ratings in this video um, that actually were kind of teased, right? I'm going to try to stop it on the first one here. There was Teo Hernandez, Odegaard, Steven Bergwijn, Rodrigo, um, Phil Foden and Mason Mount, I think, were the cards that were actually shown. So part, part of their ratings were actually leaked in this video. Their overall ratings and some of their individual stats uh, were leaked in this little promo video by EA Sports. And a couple things I want to talk about from this video uh, before we get on to the rest of this. They're actually like making a promo and they're actually naming this ratings reveal. Last year, they just call it the ratings reveal and that's kind of what it's always been called. Uh, but this year, it's called the Ratings Collective, and they actually have like a logo, they have like a promo video that they've already tweeted out ahead of the Thursday release, and they're just putting a lot of extra effort into the, the marketing side of things. They've been doing that a lot with FIFA 21 so far, but I find it interesting that we have all of this Ratings Collective set up for the Ratings release. Now, that also makes me think, could it be different this year than in the prior years? Because they're starting this rating, rating reveal pretty early. Usually... Uh, we don't get the ratings revealed just a couple weeks before. Then we have a little bit of time to look at the, you know, the databases on Footbin, on Foothead, and on Footwiz before we, you know, start to get into the web app and stuff. But we're going to have plenty of, plenty of time to be looking at cards in the database if they release it like normal. So I'm wondering if we might not see the players getting released in batches of 20 like we have seen in the previous years, uh, you know, like 100 to 81. 80 to 61 and then down like that i think what we might actually see is something a little bit different so we'll stay tuned of course 4 p.m uk on thursday the 10th all right don't believe this tweet it is the 10th of september um not the 17th that is when we're going to be getting information on fiva 21 ratings so stay tuned to that of course i'll be covering it here as it does come out on the channel this is a quick graphic put together of some of the cards that were leaked in, or not leaked, but shown in that promo video today. This is by Simon Design. I'll leave a link to this tweet in the description as well. Great graphic put together by him. One little thing I do want to note is that Dest is an American, not uh, Dutch. But again, Bergwijn going to an 83, Rodrigo 79, Mason Mount is an 80, and Dest is a 77. I believe there were three other cards that were shown in that video as well. That was Odegaard, um... With Odegaard, and then we also had Teo Hernandez, and I forget the last one, uh, Phil Foden, again, but th those were all the cards that were shown, and their, their, leadings were, their ratings were actually shown in that video, so we know what is coming ahead this year. Now, speaking of ratings, right, this has got a lot of people thinking about, okay, um, 
it's Bergwine's an 83, Rodrigo's a 79. Is there any website? A lot of people use SoFIFA.com to look at ratings and what they think ratings are going to be for some of those top tier players. Ronaldo, Messi, Lewandowski, kind of like the top three players people are envisioning this year to be the highest rated in FIFA 21. I want to go to SoFIFA.com and show you that we might not actually be able to use this website just yet to confirm FIFA Ultimate Team ratings because, as of course confirmed in the video today, Steven Bergwijn is an 83 rated card. According to SoFIFA, he is still an 82. Let's check this theory once again with Mason Mount. So, of course, in the video that was released today or yesterday, Mason Mount was an 80 rated. He's 79 here. So, I find this kind of interesting that the ratings on SoFIFA.com don't exactly match up yet to the ratings that are going to be used in FIFA Ultimate Team according to this video that they put out today. So that is one thing that I kind of find sort of interesting. You can't always rely on the SoFIFA website. I'm guessing the SoFIFA uh, website becomes a lot more reliable and a lot more usable once we actually get the full database in the game and then maybe uh, these somehow link together or match up somehow. I'm not entirely sure, but this is a website a lot of people usually go for their ratings and stuff. I just want to kind of give you a word of caution. Those might not be exact. They, they'll be very close, but they might not be exact. Let me check. Um, let me check Dest as well. Yeah, he's a 72. Wow, 72 according to SoFIFA, but he's actually going to be a 77 in FIFA. So that's pretty crazy, to be honest, that we had that big of a difference. But again, with the ratings coming out this week, this is big because this means the start of you know players being released. We're going to be knowing statistics and players, what players are going to be overpowered, what players are going to be more expensive, you know, transferred cards, what are their ratings going to be? That's a big point for a lot of people. Of course, Timo Werner going to Chelsea. He's gotten a lot, a lot of special cards uh, in the past few years. Are we going to see Werner's base item? be 86 higher than 86 this year i mean look with all the player of the months that he had last year two of them he had a headliners card multiple informs man of the matches i would expect to see a nice little 87 or maybe even an 88 timo Werner. a lot of times when players transfer to the prem they do get a little bit of a, a ratings boost especially if they're a lower tier player uh, because it kind of you know there's actually a little bit of added hype for some of those cards so just something to kind of think about as we were looking through the ratings. Maybe start to think, hey, what kind of cards could be in that top 50 or top 100 in terms of ratings this year in FIFA Ultimate Team? And hopefully we get some more information on that very, very soon. This is the other stuff that I want to talk about, right? Of course, since FIFA 21 is coming out, I just kind of want to reiterate what is going to be going on on this channel here, right? You're watching the foot account. You maybe have watched me for a year, two years. I started doing this in FIFA 19. Right around this time, I started making trading and um, videos just analyzing FIFA 20 and the game. And that is what I love doing the most is analyzing the game regarding the market movements, what stuff goes up, what makes things go down on the market. Why is EA releasing content? What is it going to do to affect people's clubs? Um, what SBCs are going to come out? Objectives or you know what other content is going to be coming out that will create market movements and also create people or um, you know motivate people to do certain things inside of the game that is what i enjoy doing the most and again that's going to happen this year you're going to see me doing that a lot this year and again i want to go over a few things that we're going to be touching just on a high level today what we're going to be touching in the next few weeks foot co-op there's a lot of interesting things that people aren't talking about in terms of co-op in terms of what that's going to mean for you know objectives in terms of rivals and even squad battles what is that going to mean for that kind of stuff uh, there's some stuff we're going to talk about with that with foot events. This is going to be very, very interesting this year. This is going to affect the market a lot. It's basically another objective tool that is going to cause market movements because I could absolutely see them, um, you know, team events. There might be some requirements in here where you have to play with a certain squad with certain players in it. And that's, of course, going to drive market movements because people have to buy a card to play with. If you have to have a French striker to play with team Mbappe uh, versus team, you know, uh, Griezmann, and then you'll have you have to play with like a La Liga striker for Team Griezmann. You know you might see some market movements because of, of things like that related to team events. Just something to be aware of. And then of course, this is one little tip that I want to give you guys right away that not a lot of people are talking about. Right, Foot Stadium. 
which actually isn't talked about in this article right here. Um, but Foot Stadium this year, and especially with all of those stadium items being put into packs, is going to change the market in terms of chemistry styles. And that's something that I'm going to talk intensively about in a, in a future video is I don't think chemistry style trading could be now again this is a could be because we don't know the pack weight we don't know exactly what is going on with that yet in uh fifa 21 but if we head over here quickly to fifa 20 i just want to show you that this year was a crazy year for the shadow and for the hunter chemistry styles at certain points during the year when there were price range updates these cards were selling for 20 to 25 thousand coins a piece on the market and EA just had the pack weight wrong this year with these chem styles for whatever reason and they really just milked it by upping the price ranges instead of upping the pack weight but since there are different items in packs now and in some of the pitch notes that they produced they said that chemistry styles are going to see an increased drop rate in packs so since shadow and, Chem and hunter chemistry style was so great and so well known of a trading method last year will it still work this year i think it will but it might not be as effective we're going to talk extensively about that in the next couple of weeks with some of these fiba 21 videos as well but again the big thing that we have to talk about for right now is the ratings and the ratings collective especially and what is going on with this stuff right here so again thursday 4 p.m uk time which is kind of early you know two hours before the content drop the rating collective we will see some content related to this and you know what to be honest with you i feel like they're kind of going to milk it a decent amount and i would not expect to get a ton of information on thursday just a little bit right that's what ea likes to do they like to stretch it out they like to kind of tease you and then finally you know give you enough information after a certain amount of time and just make it better over time right the content is just good here but then as time goes on the content gets a little bit greater and they drop more stuff more information and things like that so that's kind of all this video is related about today there's a lot of stuff upcoming but this really is the start of fifa 21 for me because once we start to see the players we can start to put the pieces together this person is probably going to be in this price range. This person probably could be rising over the first couple of weeks of FIFA Ultimate Team. Or this person, um, depending on pack weight, might actually get a lot of supply early on in the game and might not be that expensive to what we would have thought previously um, in previous years. So again, welcome to FIFA 21, boys. Welcome to FIFA 21 with the Foot Accountant inaugural, inaugural FIFA 21 video on the channel with rating stuff coming out on Thursday of this week. Hope you guys are in for a fun year. It's gonna be a great one. It's gonna be an incredible one. More and more content than you've ever seen on this channel, all different areas of Twitch, on YouTube, on Discord, on Twitter, on Instagram. Get in the links down below in the description to check out all of my socials and all my threads and get involved there. If you did enjoy this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.